Hello guys and welcome to my Project Use It Up update for January. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be my Project Use It Up update. As a reminder, I have four scent combos going right now. I have a snickerdoodle routine, an ice sugar plum routine, a party routine, and then a mint chocolate routine. So those are my four that I'm gonna update you on. And I do have to say, it's actually only been a few weeks since I filmed the intro of this in December. I filmed it like mid-December. So I don't have too much crazy progress to show you guys, but I have a little bit. And then I have some updates on like my thoughts of some products. So I figured I would kind of give you guys more of a, um, like a first impressions review of some things while I'm also updating you on my Project Use It Up. So if you are interested, then just keep watching. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is kind of my main focus from the last month, which was my sugar cookie routine. It's so yummy, you guys, and I'm adoring it. So as a reminder, I had three newer items that I was using. I have the Fenty Butta Drop um, body cream. I have the Tree Hut Cinnamon Dulce Sugar Scrub, the Bath & Body Works Jolly Gingerbread Village Lotion, Christmas Cookies, and the Fine Fragrance Mist and Vanilla Mocha Cream in the Shower Gel. So let's start off with my new favorite product. This is the Fenty Beauty Butter Drop Warm Cinnamon Shimmering Whipped Oil Body Cream. That's a mouthful, but this scent is the most amazing thing on the planet. It smells so good. It smells like a snickerdoodle cookie, like I'm baking it in the oven. This is amazing. I don't know what she put into this product, but oh my God, it's so good. And it actually does leave your skin with like a sheen on it, which is kind of fun. I used it for New Year's and I really enjoyed the way it like made my shoulders shine. So that was pretty cool. And I am halfway used on this bad baby because I am just obsessed. I will say it is very moisturizing, so it's kind of thick and creamy and a little hard to rub in at first, but it's definitely very like luxurious feeling and very, very moisturizing. So I'm not using it every single day, but maybe like every other day. It's really great after I've just shaved and I wanna put moisture back into my skin. It smells so delicious. I love the formula. I'm so happy that I got the little mini Fenty skin set. Um, so I have two more that I can try after I finish this, which I'm definitely gonna have it finished next month. Um, it's so yummy. So that's the first review I have. The next one that I have is the Tree Hut Cinnamon Dulce Scrub. If you did not get your hands on it, I'm pretty sure it was limited edition. It's probably already sold out, but if you didn't get your hands on it, girl, you missed it. This is, this is it. This is the best scent I've ever tried from Tree Hut. Totally being honest. It smells so good. Again, it smells like freshly baked snickerdoodles. It is so yummy. It's a cinnamon vanilla cookie. It smells so good. So I really haven't used it that much though because these Tree Hut sugar scrubs are not for the faint of heart. They are super, super coarse and I can't use it every day or else I'm not gonna have any skin left, but I use it about once a week. So I have a little bit of progress. It was completely unused when I started it in the project a couple weeks ago. So I'm still you know, using it, but I swear you guys, this is so yummy and in a warm shower, it smells like a warm cookie. It smells so good. So if you haven't tried it, you need it. It's so yummy and wonderful. I, I didn't have high expectations for this one, but it blew me out the water. This is so good. And the last kind of review I have for you guys is Jolly Gingerbread Village. This one I don't have too much progress on just from here to here because I actually have um, been letting Ryan use it in his shower. That's my boyfriend. Um, because he needed a new lotion and I can't find men's Bath & Body Works lotions anymore in my store. I don't think they sell them in store anymore, but it is nice. It is yummy, but it's not my favorite. So that's the update on this one. It's a uh, golden gingerbread vanilla icicles and Yuletide Timber. Definitely less of a bakery scent than I thought. That Timber gives it kind of an outdoorsy note, which made me think it would be nice for him. It smells good on him, I have to say. Um, it definitely is working as like a um, unisex scent, but yeah, just not my favorite. So I probably won't have a ton of progress because he only uses a lotion like every now and then and really just like a little bit. He uses like the tiniest bit of lotion at a time. So it probably won't have the most progress on it, but that's those two. And then vanilla mocha cream. Girl, I've been using this one 
hard. So from here to here, this is the most progress that I have on the shower gels in the project so far. I love the scent. It is so wonderful. I love this scent. It's the best. It's just really like a mocha vanilla shake. Um, the notes are cozy cappuccino, vanilla orchid, and white tonka bean. Not really coffee, more like vanilla and mocha, but it smells really good. I love this one. It's a perfect, like either cozy winding down for bed scent, or it's also really great in the mornings as like a wake me up. So I love this. It's so yummy. And then Christmas cookies. I don't have a ton of progress on it from here to here. The notes are creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel woods. Honestly, I just haven't really been using sprays this month. I'm going to spray this right now though, because I just I need to continue to use them. But I was sick for a little bit of December, so I just really didn't want to use any fragrance stuff. I didn't want to spray anything and make myself have like a coughing fit. So I really didn't use a lot of sprays or perfumes this month. So I'm going to try and get a lot more progress on this and the other mists that I have in the project next month. But yeah, this one I didn't use too much, but I'm going to try a little bit harder to use it next month. And then I am going to put in a perfume to go with this set because I kind of forgot to put perfumes in with most of the... <laughs> body care routines, which I don't know why I did, but I'm going to put in Ariana Grande's Mod Vanilla. This one I'm pretty close to finishing. I can't really tell where it's at, but I can hear that there's barely anything left. So I'm really trying to finish this one up. Um, I like it. It's a nice vanilla scent. It just doesn't last very long on me. So it's not my favorite vanilla scent. I definitely prefer like Vanilla Sky from, I can't remember the brand name, but I'll put it over here. I definitely prefer like Vanilla Sky or the Huda Beauty um, vanilla scent that they have. It just isn't my favorite because it's not super gourmand, but I still like it and I'm gonna finish it. Next update I have is on my ice sugar plum routine. Now this one is from last year's winter release and I have it in the shower gel, the lotion, and the fine fragrance mist. I don't have a ton of progress on this one, but so I've actually been using the lotion a ton. I really like this um, scent and formula. It's pretty, pretty yummy. I wouldn't say it's long lasting. That's the problem with this scent in general. It's just not lasting at all. <laughs> and I think it's just a testament to Bath & Body Works cheapening their formula over time, which just sucks. But I like the scent. It just doesn't last long. So the notes are sparkling sugar plum, snowdrop petal, and whipped marshmallow. Like it's it's a really yummy, fruity marshmallow scent. It smells great. It just doesn't last. But anyways, I used it from, uh, I think it was completely full last month down to here. I've been using it consistently every single day. So I'm really liking it. I love the scent. And yeah, I'm just enjoying it. Same with the shower gel. Not a ton of progress from here to here. Um, but I like it. It's nice and fruity. It's just like a nice scent. And then the mist, I really only used a tiny bit from here to here. Not a ton of progress on it. This is the least long lasting of all of them. I spray it and then uh, like 30 seconds later, I can't smell it anymore. So that sucks. So yeah, um, that's the Ice Sugar Plum update. I do have this Pacifica Dream Moon perfume in the project as well. This I think is like a sandalwood perfume. I did use it a little bit from here to here, just like a little bit of progress. I like it. I'm excited to really get into using it in January because like I said, I wasn't really spraying a lot of stuff last month just cause I was sick. So I'm gonna definitely test it out a little bit more in January and let you guys know kind of a little review on that one. So the next set I have to update you is my little peppermint bark body care set. The first item is the Dove Peppermint Bark Body Scrub, which I have to say, it's so yummy. It's wonderful. I love that Dove came out with this limited edition holiday treats line because it's been banger after banger, you guys. It's so good. So I do have some progress on this one. Not a ton, but we are probably like right here if I were to say where it's at in, in the middle of the packaging and it was unused last month. So definitely getting progress on this one. I probably use it every other day. It's so yummy. It is definitely like the picture on the front. It smells just like that. It just smells like a white chocolate peppermint with a little bit of chocolate chocolate in there. Oh, it smells so good. It just smells exactly like the packaging. So it's really a very good scent. It feels great in the shower to use, so I'm loving this. And then the I Heart Revolution Shower Shake in Vegan Mint Chocolate. I've also been using this month. I like that it's a cute little like 
soda can. I think that's fun. I have progress from here to here. So I definitely have been focusing on it, um, especially because December, I feel like was a great month to use this kind of scent. So I hope to get some more progress on it still and probably finish it in the rest of the winter project that I have, which is gonna be January and February. So hoping to finish that off. And then we have Coconut Mint Drop, which I probably used like twice. <laughs> I have the tiniest bit of progress from here to here, just like barely anything. It's white coconut, iced peppermint, and winter musk. I'm really sad that I didn't use this more because this is one of my favorite scents of all time from Bath & Body Works. Um, it's so yummy. It really is like my December scent. So I'm gonna try and use it a lot in January and see if I can get some more progress on it because it's one of my favorites. It's so yummy. It definitely has like that musk down pat and it lasts really long. I find that the ones, all the scents from Bath & Body Works that have musk in them just last so much longer. Yeah, this is a good one. I'm gonna keep using it. And then my last set, which is basically my little party set because I have Life of the Party in here. So we have Life of the Party in the shower gel. I only have a tiny bit of progress on this one. I just wasn't focusing on it. From here to here, not a ton. The notes are pink citrus, bubbly prosecco, jasmine, and shimmering vanilla. I have a feeling I'm gonna use this a lot more in like February, just because it's like a sophisticated, like a lady scent. I don't know how to describe it. Otherwise, it's just very grown. That's what it reminds me of. It's like, you're a grown woman wearing this <laughs> or using this. And then we have pink chiffon in the body cream, which I've been really, really loving. This scent is so yummy. It's sparkling red pear, jasmine petals, tiari flower, vanilla orchid, and chiffon musk. I'm definitely gonna pick up a full size in this at some point in 2024 because I'm loving it. I mean, like a full size set, like a spray, a lotion, a shower gel, all that good stuff. But we went from here to here. So about average for me on um, body cream usage. So I've been loving this one. It smells wonderful. I'm actually gonna put some on right now because my hands are a little dry, but it's a really nice scent. I use it probably mostly at night. Just like a nice girly scent. It makes me feel really girly. It's just like the color pink. That's what this smells like. And then last we have the Twinkling Nights Fine Fragrance Mist. Honestly, such beautiful packaging. Like what? It's so pretty. The notes are Frosted Jasmine Petals, Whipped Vanilla, and Mandarin Blossom. Just a very simple vanilla jasmine scent. And I have the tiniest bit of progress from here to here. I probably used it once, um, but it is a wonderful scent. I used it every time we did something like kind of fancy, like a uh, Christmas party or New Year's, I used it. So I'm gonna keep using it for, you know, like nice occasions and keep it in. But yeah, it's one of my favorite kind of like occasion scents. That's definitely what I use this one for the most. And then I am gonna put in a little perfume into that set because I forgot to put one in. And you guys guessed it, it's my Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy perfume. Because again, I have like two drops left in this and I can't finish it up for the life of me because it is one of those ones you have to like dab on and it's so frustrating to use it. So I probably should get one of those Amazon, um, one of those perfume things that you can get on Amazon where you, I don't even know what it's called, but you transfer the product from one of these to a sprayer, I should definitely look into getting those because I feel like that would help me use up these little ones that I have so much quicker. So let me know if you've ever used them and if they work for you. But yeah, that's the last thing I'm putting in the project. So no empties yet. Hopefully next month I will have some empties to share with you guys because I need to start using up some stuff and finish them. But yeah, that's everything for my winter project use it up update for January. Let me know what is your like scent of the month for January because I'm curious to see what you guys are using right now. I think my scent of the month is definitely gonna be Christmas cookies because I am so much loving that Snickerdoodle scent, it's crazy. But that's everything that I have to share with you guys for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.